morning it is cold and breezy 28 degrees 29 degrees negative one celsius burr oh i have switched over to winter jacket <laughs> and the zipper's not working right on it this is the jacket i got at uh, burlington um last year or the beginning of this year sometime the leather one fake leather one Kind of like my columbia but the zipper is catching on the inside of the stupid thing so i'm gonna have to play around with this thing because i really like this style jacket it's got like nice fleece lining so far it's warm even though it's only like halfway zipped that kind of sucks so i did turn face tracking on this morning for the uh opening clip but uh i think i'm gonna turn it back off but nonetheless we have uh, blue skies and sun right now. The gimbal would cooperate on this pocket, but uh, yeah, the sun is on actually over here. He is out, but it is breezy and it is cold. According to the thing that feel like temperature is 31, I don't understand that with this wind. I think that's wrong. <laughs> you know, the last time I wore this jacket was when I went for the interview at Road Safe. Wow, I'm like, what the hell's in my pocket? Oh, that's when I may try to make the um, cover for this thing. That's what this is from. You can see the cuts in it. I was trying to make the screen cover for the uh, the pocket. Try to keep sun off of it. So, anywho, it is a, it is a very brisk and cold walk. I need to find gloves today. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna do a high aerial poop. Okay, bud. Yeah, I'm gonna need to find some decent winter gloves that I still can use my fingers though through these cameras. Okay, I got a deuce to pick up. All right, guys, this is going to be a very, very quick puppy walk. It is brutal out here. Uh, I was cold sitting upstairs. Come on, message, go away. He did updates on these things, and the messages for the microphone, it's now DJI Audio System or something that they're calling it. They changed the name of it, and this, this does not go away for a long time still. Well, they were supposed to improve that several updates ago, but... Anywho... As soon as we turned around, Mateo just started trucking home. He's like, I'm done. This is brutal. <laughs> I'm sure, I mean, I got shoes on. They're walking with bare puppy feet. Oh, all right. Try to get a couple more adventure things done before I head out for Sam's Club because it's pre 11 o'clock right now. I don't want to leave too damn early because then I'm going to have to figure out how to kill you know, too much time. I don't know if I have any more McDonald's rewards left. Might grab myself a sandwich there if I have any points left to get something. Uh, if I don't, I might just get my two hot dogs at Sam's Club because I love their hot dogs. I don't think I'm gonna put sauerkraut on them though because my stomach has already been a little iffy this morning. I think with all the crap going with all the sickness, all the medication and whatnot is kind of messed my stomach up so whoo but i think we're going to stay with the pocket today because i do have the mount in the car so it'll work it's just going to be upside down but it doesn't film that way <laughs> Alrighty, well we got a couple stops to make here because um i definitely want to stop at cole's quick and drop off this <clears throat> filter that came late um you know, speaking of which, did I finalize that whole thing? Huh. Uh, my account. Uh, your orders. So I did find a, a pair of gloves. I have very small hands, so it's a size small. <clears throat> but they have like the they're rated for negative 20 which would be great for the freezer uh and puppy walks and they've got the protective outer shell for when i have to hit boxes and stuff uh, where is that other filter return started okay good yes i have it all right so <clears throat> coals <clears throat> then sam's I did check my McDonald's. I finally got location services turned back on from my whole little thing I did the other day. Car really should let it warm up a little bit. I'm gonna put temperature up a little higher because it is brutal outside. 
Um, so no McDonald's. I don't know if I'm going to go into Burlington just to see if they have any gloves for, like, work gloves. The ones we have at work, they're... Well, I, I don't like using other people's gloves. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It's like they have a whole pile of gloves, but mm, I don't know. Something about it just isn't fit for me. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where we're running on time because it's 20 of 12 right now. So I got about an hour to do this in. And running into Coles and then coming out of there and then going to Sam's Club. So definitely litter. I definitely gonna. I should be able to get one more box of the Represol for Priya on the on the discounted on the sale. Um, and my Uncrustables. I think that's gonna basically put me at my limit financially, which is I shouldn't be doing, but you know I gotta help out something here. But really, really seriously need to get on some of these bills, mainly the utilities. I'm sure we're going to get a letter from the from the uh, office for the Water Authority again. Kind of have to wait until my advance check comes in, which will probably be Monday, I'm hoping, because I did it yesterday. That was a stupid day to do it. I didn't know if the holiday would kick in before, and it didn't, so. <sighs> but... I do have to pay on my loan payment this week, so that's a huge chunk of money. But then she gives money for the house as well, so I'm already going to basically have that set in there, so I'm just going to hold on to that. <clears throat> Even though technically it should go into the other account, well, you know, maybe I can pay some bills with that money. Yeah, should be able to do something with that. Biggest problem was my car insurance and the Xfinity. I still have to pay, shit, I still have to pay Verizon and then the next Verizon bill is due as well. <sighs> it never ends. It is mildly pretty outside today though. A little less cloudy, but the sun must be under a cloud right now. Some blue skies. Now, I don't know, I think, <clears throat> now going back to the pocket in the car, this does work pretty decent. I don't have to worry about that stupid head loosening up on the other one. I can just spin the whole camera around. I don't know. It's nice to have both, though. Definitely gotten a lot of use out of the Action 5. It'll probably just be a fight back and forth between these two cameras throughout the rest of the days of vlogging, I think. Because, honestly, equipment just needs to stop coming. I, I just, I, I don't know about that M6 head. It is just so big. <clears throat> Thought of a, a very high-tech way to filming the Christmas lights using the magnet mount, the M6, and the Action 5. <sighs> Honestly though, for it to be useful, I need someone else to drive. So I can be watching the MIMO app and controlling the M6 head to pan and not be focusing on driving while I'm doing it. So, I don't know, maybe, you know, Terry and I will probably do it as well, but maybe I can talk Tim into driving my car or this car, and we mount it up there and we test it. Not going to be going fast with all that on the, on the roof, though, because it's damn near 10 inches tall. I showed Mike last night. I said, I have a batshit crazy idea, and he goes, oh, I can't say what he said. <laughs> so, I mean, that way I can kind of look around a little bit at, at different things, but the same token, maybe just putting it on the magnet head and just letting it go straight with a wide angle lens would be better. I don't know. Because there's several areas I want to go to. Candy Cane Lane, want to do the gentleman out um, Pine Run. Of course, we're going to do the drive through the Grove, and I've already spoke to Mike. He is, because he is the manager over photography, and basically they asked him, do you want restrictions on, you know, policies on recording and photos in the Grove and at Christmas Village? And he's like, why? We're can't, we can't police everybody, and why can't people take photos of their own? So... 
he's kind of pulled back some of their restrictions in the past, which is cool. I mean, you still have to get permission to have an action camera on a ride, and there is a policy in place for that. Basically, you have to have a three-point connection. So, like the harness and it connected, so the camera can't fly off and kill someone. It's a safety thing, you know. Which is totally understandable. And honestly, getting permission, as long as you have that, is okay. Pretty simple. The fact that I have, you know, no mic, I say, listen, I'm friends with Mike Baker, I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> and I have all the stuff now with that on kit. I keep pulling pieces out and then misplacing where I put them. Oh, I completely forgot that Christmas shopping is in full swing now that it is. Uh oh, no car behind me. Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh, this guy parked in kind of close. All right, I'll catch the nose on him and not back into the guy behind me. That return, well, people were a little confused because they've changed the exits, the checkout and everything for Coles. So people were standing in line for checkout that were actually in the return line. Uh, but that is on its way back. Yay. Still have the one filter, don't get me wrong. I still have one of them. I think we're not going that way. I think we're gonna go this way because then we can just jump on the bridge and jump back on the highway. I haven't been down through here in a long time. It's just like a little, little way through. <clears throat> oh man. Oh, the Christmas stuff is up. Yeah, the uh, candy cane lane is lit up, so anytime. Yeah, Tim's out hunting today. I'm like, uh, what video game are you playing? <laughs> he, he sent me a picture of the woods. It's like, I need proof of life. <laughs> Alrighty, well, Sam's Club was not cheap. I could not get four boxes of litter because there's a limit of six. We'd already gotten four. So I only got two. I did get my Encrustables and Priya's and Reprisol, but they had the Mucinex DM $6.50 off for a 56 count, bringing it down to like $25.98, I think, something like, something like that. I'm like, hmm. I think I paid $16 for the Walmart brand the other day. So two of them would have been like $32 and I got it for $20, $26. So plus I did, we, I forgot we had talked about getting milk. All right, fuel this baby up cause it's under th quarter tank. In case we get any inclement weather, I'm good on fuel. And I got 25 minutes to get to work, so we should be in good shape. Barring no major traffic issues. Sam's Club wasn't too busy, but I ended up getting in a line of a bunch of slow people just, you know, looking around. It's crazy. They have the ground Dunkin' Donuts coffee there. It's 150 pots or cups or whatever they have it. 24 freaking bucks. I'm like, no, can't, no. Not when I'm getting the McDonald's for like under nine. <clears throat> if I ever find it at the thrift store though, I know it's, it's expensive stuff and if it's a decent deal, get it. Don't usually see the ground, but now that we have the bun coffee maker, we're kind of on the search for K-cups and ground of our, Mc, our Duncan. Well, since we have the pots of McDonald's, she's like, don't worry about that. <laughs> Because on the next sale, they're actually discounted a few bucks. And they are $39 now. I told her. I, I thought it was $39. Everything is just outrageous. But that's $39 bucks for 94 cups. That is not. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. We've paid it. We bought a lot of it. But... The ways of the old are gone. It's save when you can. No, yeah, I scanned the... No, I did not get the Reprisol because I scanned it and it did not give me the discount. That's right. It did not give me the $3 off. 
I did treat myself though to two hot dogs and two slices of cheese pizza and somehow ended up with three fountain drinks. I think each hot dog came with a drink and then two slices of pizza came with a drink. So when I get to work, if my uh, associate is in the parking lot and say, hey, you want a free Pepsi fountain drink? I don't know if the ice will stay long enough to get home with one of them. I managed to squeeze one in the door pocket, which is kind of crazy for a fountain drink to fit in there. It's snug, but it fit, and the lid's staying on. So, wish me luck the rest of the day. Alrighty, we are fueled up. We got 14 minutes to make it to work. I think we're gonna be there with about four to five minutes to spare. That car is coming through the light. It's green, not illegal, but. All right, we got Bluetooth reconnected. I gotta figure out why this thing doesn't auto connect. That is baffling, because I know my white one did. It was the same year as this. And this is a more high end. So I don't know if there's like a battery, because it says it's out of memory as well. So I don't know if there's something missing that it's not um, working properly. Or this car has just been Frankenstein so bad that it doesn't work anymore. Let this poor guy get in his truck with his pizza. Pizza's pretty good. I have a feeling the sauce might irritate my stomach a little bit though so i've had a hot dog and a piece of pizza i should be good for to start work that's enough of a lunch i have leftovers then for break plus i have my encrustables but <clears throat> if i don't eat them save them for another shift i can just throw them in the freezer at work which i might just do that I might just throw them in the freezer bring this in and this will be my dinner because i'll probably end up going to break on the early side again yesterday it was like 3 30 but we got out of there a couple minutes after not eight, like ten, seven minutes after eight, I think we were done. <coughs> so, all right, off to Aldi World, and then uh, I will catch you guys after work. Burr, it is cold outside. I don't think I turned the volume down on this thing yet. Hold on. All righty, now you're at a minus five. I don't understand why the pocket doesn't flip the screen when you flip it upside down. Yeah, I think that would be one little <clears throat> update going forward, since you can technically film with it upside down. Unless it's not uh, something DJI really recommends. I don't know. But it works. <clears throat> All right, well, we got another quarter after, so that's cool. Uh, I got to unload the car now when we go home, so this is going to be a little bit of fun. It's not too bad. I mean, the litter technically can stay in here, but I'd really rather it didn't. Two boxes of uh, Uncrustables and two things of milk. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, my Mucinex is sitting on the front seat with me. <laughs> uh, well, my pizza and hot dog were good for dinner, and my Uncrustables are still in my backpack. I never put them in the freezer at work. Or, why bother? Just... Leave them out. I'll have them tomorrow. They won't go bad, I don't think. <clears throat> not too, I mean, not a not a busy night, that's for sure. We were. I was kind of like poking around boxing all night long. Even did a couple, took a couple different things out from the back room because I had time to do it. I have a feeling we're going to see like a slowdown and like January is going to be really, really hard to stay busy until eight o'clock. So, which sucks because that means I'm not going to get, you know, I'm losing, I got lost 20 minutes last night, lose 15 minutes tonight. It's going to add up over five days and I'm not going to have, you know, all my hours and uh, that's going to suck. So. That means I'm not going to have the money for it. Definitely the beginning of the year, need to see what kind of alternative job I can do. Can't do Uber, but could do like Uber Eats and, you know, DoorDash food wise. But neither one of our cars, I think, will qualify to take people in them. Plus, especially if she needs my car to go to work, I definitely can't use this car. It's too small. So, I don't know. Figure something out. Seems like it's becoming a growing thing. And like I said, that one couple was making 
making do by it. I mean, they're, <laughs> they said there's a hustle to it, but like any other job. So, and if you do a good job, there's always the possibility of tips. So, alrighty guys, well, I think I'm just going to call it. Oh, it's down to 26 degrees. Great. The hell is that negative? Six? I'm curious now. Hold on, I'm driving. Uh, minus, well, it says minus three. Let's see what this is saying. Yeah, minus three. All right, minus three Celsius. Yay. Below freezing. It's cold. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. You're the channel. Please subscribe, thumb up, and comment. I will see you tomorrow as always. Have a good night and stay safe.